Welcome back everybody to Bad Dream Butcher. In the last episode we lost a lot of fingers. We lost a, a crap ton of fingers. I think all we have is the middle one now. And we're I am actually still stuck. I didn't have time to uh, look through it and to find anything. But we got a hook. We have a hook, a cooking glove, a maggot, a twig, and a sharp glass. It seems like I've been losing my fingers a lot lately. So in this episode we're going to try to progress a little bit more. It, it's got it. Look, see, all I have is my fucking middle finger. That's basically what it's saying is fuck you. Huh. Well, there's got to be something that I could use a hook or something on. I don't, yeah, I can't go any, anywhere else. Maybe down here? Nope. You know what? Let me try something. There's got to be something in here that I could use for the eye or something, maybe. I don't like coming in this room because it's. <laughs> oh! Huh! Whoa, that should have scared me. How do you even think of that? Well, at least he's. So we're gonna go. Wait. How. How did he. So, he's alive. Got a shovel. Got some wire. He's still alive though, or maybe he's squished. Oh, right, let's go. Okay. Well, we, we both know where we need to go. Those are our finger. Oh my god, I lost another finger. I don't have a hand. I don't think I have a hand anymore. Wait, am I not supposed to click on him? Yeah. Oh, okay, I have one last finger. Great. That, that's. Wait, what key is that? Oh! <gasps> Whoa! We're in the cellar now. Okay, sorry. There's another key. Toilet paper. This is a very well designed game. I'm I'm thoroughly enjoying this. I hope you guys are Let me compliment my viewers for a second. Hope you guys are enjoying this as well. Here we go. So rock. Paper, some stuff. I only have one finger left, my ring finger. Fishing rod. <gasps> I think I know what that's for. That could be for... I think it might be for the eye. I, 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 for some reason, I don't know why, but I think I might be for the eye. Yeah. It has to be for the eye. No. Or not. Okay, let's look up here. Let's see what's up here. Fishing rod. We're missing something, it looks like. Why do you have a cooking glove? I don't see the point. <laughs> What's up, big fella? Hmm. Can I? I can't go anywhere. That's creepy. Maybe I'm trying to think. Maybe I could use the fishing rod. Let's go back in there. Hmm. Maybe I think I have to do something with the cellar. Whoa! Oh, I knocked it over. I thought I picked it up. Oops. Got, I don't want to say jump stairs, but it's just 
it's got quite a lot of rhythm. Hey, let's go over here. I think I can get. There's got to be something in here, maybe. Love the music. I'm so sorry, but I cannot get over the music. Such a well-made game when it comes to the music and sound effects. <sighs> Where could it be? Why is everything so boarded up? It looks like maybe this is an abandoned village or something. It could be. Hi. Okay, so this is the this is the house it looks like. I don't think I can go anywhere else besides my, the place we've looked already. <sighs> Let's see here. I am actually stuck on here. I don't know what you're trying to tell me. Um, yeah, I see. His ro wait, maybe? Love the sound effects. Maybe. Oh, that's loud. I'm actually stuck. I, I, I do not know what to do. This game, it's very... What's the word I'm looking for? Very difficult. But I think that's what makes it a, I think that's what makes it a good game, though. The fact that you have to actually sit down and look and actually try to find these secret hidden clues, you could say, to try to figure out how to progress in the game. Yes, it might be extremely difficult, like, right now, but I feel like it's gonna come down to something. Like, in the end, it's all gonna mean something. I was just gonna, having a wire, a glove, a fishing rod, a maggot. Like, why would I have a maggot? Do I really need a maggot? But it all means something in towards the end, I guess. I must be stupid, because I can't... This is very difficult. Sorry, that was running. I hear that. It sounds like running. What? Uh, guys, I'm sorry. This takes a while. I'll, I'll cut. Sorry. I am genuinely stuck. This is the food place. We've checked this though.
Where would it go? You have to. Oh, maybe I can pick up my eye now. Nope. Damn, what the fudge, bro? Maybe there's something downstairs I can grab. Does he want a wet rag or something? <gasps> Maybe I think I might know where. Uh, I this is this is the place I was thinking of, but I'm just checking. Why is it 15 now? Alright, here, let's, let's head back, maybe... Oh, oh, let's head to the place where I want it. Right here. Yes! It's exactly what I thought it would be. What? what oh. Oh, I have pot. Okay. Oh! I tried this! Oh, so we put the fishing pole in there and we got a skeleton of a fish. Dead fish, yeah. Dead fish. But what, what like, really, what are we gonna do with the dead fish? <gasps> do we... Okay, okay. That was never here though. That this this twine thing was never here. That was the wire. That's okay. I see. Okay, that, that's that's the wire rope or whatever it's called. Okay. Now we go into here and we. Okay. Now, um. What what? <gasps> Put the pot and the f and the dead fish. What? That must mean something. I guess I'm just too darn not to rem no. Well, leave in the comments what you guys think. Well, that was Bad Dream Butcher. Immediately, I will be starting the second one. I don't, remember, I don't remember the name of it, but I'll definitely be starting it. If you enjoyed this, leave a like. And this is Bad Dream brought to you by The Eclipse.